Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Shimo versus Kong in a surprise fold. Now, if you like these videos, make sure to subscribe so I can keep making more fun content for you. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoy. Now to start off with our Kong versus Shimo surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm going to start by lining up the corners of my paper and I'm gonna give it a nice fold so it looks like a birthday card. Next, I'm going to line up the corners one more time and I'll give it another nice fold right here. Now, when I open this up, I have these nice little guidelines that show me where to keep the inside of my drawing. I like to turn my paper this way so I can open it up for a fun surprise. Now to start off with this, let's begin with Shimo right over here. So I'm gonna start right here with the eye. So let's just make a line that's gonna kinda come down and then up here and down a little bit, kinda like a wiggly check mark. Next, I'm gonna bring this line over and up for the eye. Right above here for the eyebrow, let's make a line that comes up and then down. And then starting here, let's make a line that's gonna come up like this. And then I'm gonna make a little wiggly line down. We'll make another line that comes up with a little wiggly line. And then one more here, and I'm gonna bring this down. Next, I'm gonna bring a line that's gonna come over, and then we're gonna come down here for the front of the face. And then we'll make a line that's gonna come up and curve down. We'll make a little curved line for the nose, and maybe a couple more little curved lines here. Next, I'm gonna bring this line down and then over for the mouth. And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna bring this up for the chin. Then we're gonna bring this line up here for the jaw. And then we're gonna make some lines that kinda of go down and then over and then straight down here for the neck. Now, right back here, I'm gonna make some long diagonal lines, and these are gonna be the different spikes on Shimo. So I'll make a few diagonal lines here, and I'll make a few more kind of come right up here. And then I'm gonna draw a few smaller ones up here. I'm also gonna add a couple right down here. And then I'm gonna make a few that come right off the jaw here. Next, I'm gonna draw a couple little lines underneath the eye. Then a few little lines that curve down behind the eye. Now I'm gonna draw a couple little lines up here for a little bit of detail. Next, over here, let's go ahead and draw Kong's face. So I'm gonna start right here, and I'm going to begin by making a line that's just gonna come down. Then I'm gonna go up and then back, kind of like that wiggly little check mark shape. Then we'll make a line that's gonna curve down to here for the eye. We'll make a little line that comes down. Then we'll make a line that's gonna come up and then down here in like a half of an oval shape for the nose. And we'll curve this line down. Next, I'm gonna bring this line up. We're gonna come over and down. Then I'm gonna bring this line over and then we're gonna come in here. I'll bring this line down. I'm gonna bring this line down and then over here. Then I'm gonna bring this line down 
and we'll bring it up here. Right here, I'm gonna make a few little curved lines by the eye and a few little ones up here too. Next, I'm gonna make some little points that are gonna come up here for the back of the head. And then I'm gonna make some little points coming down. And then we'll make a curve line that's gonna come down and up here for the ear. They'll make a little curve and a line that comes up here. Next, I'm gonna make a line that's gonna come down and then we're gonna bring it up here for his beard. Then let's just go ahead and make a line down. Then we'll make another line that curves over here for his chest. Now our next step is to open this up and draw the inside. Now, once I open this up, I have two halves of my drawing. We got half of Shimo and half of Kong. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's work on Shimo. So I'm gonna begin by bringing this line down and then up a little bit. And then I'm gonna make this line a little wavy and it's gonna come down to here. Next, I'm gonna bring this line up. And then we're gonna make this a little wavy and bring it up to here. We'll make a little curve line here and then a couple more little curve lines for the back of the mouth. Then let's go ahead and add some little pointy V shapes for the teeth. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll make some little kind of curved triangle shark fin shapes for the teeth down here. I'll make a line that's gonna come down. It's gonna go up and back down for the tongue. And then I'm gonna make kind of like a pointed line that goes right to here. And then same thing, we'll do it down here too. So this will kind of be like his ice blast. Then I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna come down and then right to here for part of the mouth. And then we'll make another one for the back of the mouth. So we kind of have the inside and then the back of the mouth. Now, let's go ahead and work on Kong. So I'm gonna bring this line down to here. And then I'm gonna bring this line up here. Then I'm gonna bring this line down. And then we're gonna curve it around and bring it up here. Next, I'm gonna bring this line around. And we'll come up to here as well. Now, right here, I'm gonna add a big V-shape for his main tooth. And then we'll make a couple smaller teeth right here and a couple smaller ones back here. Do the same thing here. Let's make that nice big tooth and then a couple smaller ones right around it. Now for his tongue, I'm just gonna draw a line. It's gonna come down, it's gonna go up, and then back here. We're gonna bring a line down here. And then we're gonna bring another line down here. So we got the inside of the mouth and the back of the mouth. Now, I wanna make it look like he is holding his ax. So I'm going to start right about here and I'm going to make a line that's gonna curve up it's gonna come down and then around, and that's gonna be his thumb. And we're gonna make a line that's gonna come over and down to here, over and down, over and down, and then one more, over and then down and up. Next, I'm gonna make a little zigzag line down to here. And then I'm gonna make a pointy line to here and a little line right to there. So it looks like it's coming from behind his mouth. Now for the ax, I'm just gonna draw a line that's gonna come up here, a little wavy, and it's gonna come down. 
and we'll bring this down over and up. Next I'm going to bring this line over to here and we're going to make some little points on it and then we'll make some smaller points on this side. Then I'm going to make a big X on here so it looks like it's tied down. And then right to here, I'm going to make some big pointed zigzag lines. And I'll do the same thing down here. And that way it looks like Shimo's Ice Blast is hitting his axe. And there you go. When we have it all folded up, we've got Kong and Shimo doing a nice little stare down. And then when we open it, you can see that Shimo is shooting his Ice Blast and Kong is deflecting it with his axe. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.